do it. Oh, I can't wait to see those numbers climb, baby. Alrighty. Well, initially I'm first joined. Since I have joined already. Whoa. What is going on with my vision here? Ah, it says from when I drank the brews. Undefin undefinable. Yes, okay, I get it now. Alrighty, well back to it. This is what it looks like when you first join our server. How are you doing, Kurt? How's it going, buddy? Yeah, that's my beautiful face. So what's going on, Kurt? Oh, nice. Somebody is opening up boat crates over there. Anyways, yes, back to it. This is where you will spawn. This is our main spawn here. This guy here is our main menu NPC. He, you right click him, or yeah, you right click him, you will pop up this GUI here, which has your spawn. If you're anywhere in the world, you can type slash menu, and the same GUI will pop up. Hit and spawn anywhere in the world will bring you right back to this location. This one here will teleport you over to the shops. We'll hit that one in a second. This one here is to pop up jobs. This is the ranks. I'll show you that here in a second. Biomes. We are going to be working on more biomes. For now, we have the jungle, swamp, desert, the flower, and savanna. If you left click any of these, it will teleport you to those biomes. And then, let's go back to him. This is the jobs here. It'll pop up the GUI where you can choose which job you want to join. I'm already a miner, so I can't join that, but I can look at it. And then this will show you how much you get paid for doing what function of that job. Say you are breaking a coal ore, you will get 42 cents, 42 points, and 40 or 0.48 experience points added to you. So this is how our economy is based. Each player has jobs. You can make money doing your jobs and save that bank. Trust me, money is important on our server. Each job pays out a little bit better as you can see. An enchanter makes quite a bit more. The brewer. Oh yeah. All the payouts are customized as well. Basically pick what you feel is best what you want to do. Uh, let's go to ranks. So our cus our server has custom ranks. We're working on more every day. We're trying to make it more and more fun. Each rank in our server has a list of permissions and privileges that each rank will be allowed to do. So a feller is the default rank. You guys are basic. You don't have much privilege in our server. You have to play, earn time in the server, save the money, and then this here is the rank up button. When if you click that, it'll pop up a menu where you can click yes. You confirm to that price to switch to the next level, which would be scavenger. And here, if you hover over all of these, it will show you which permissions you get under each rank. And it will also show you the price of the rank so you know what to save for at the very bottom there. So each one of these have new and improved rank or permissions per rank as you keep going up and up which is really fun and makes your aspect here a lot better to the rescue freelance services this is the like royal you. is currently our top rank logos social media Website as you can see you what can you create nations so yeah you won't even be able to create a towny nation until you hit royal and Royal costs five million dollars. Our journey on Project Reality isn't supposed to be achieved within one day. We don't want people to max out. We want it to be a lengthy journey. Something to work towards. 
Townie itself is one of our grief prevention plugins, which allows claim, land claim. But with Townie, it costs money to start up a town. I believe to open up a town would cost $25,000. And to open up a nation would cost $50,000, I believe. Let's go back to the main menu here. All right, here is the help menu. So here you will have rules. When you click this, it will pop up the rules here in chat. It will pop up in your chat. Uh, yeah, it'll pop up in text. Let's go back here, help menu, message of the day. Here I'll show you how many players we have online, the current world time. This is our website. This is our web store where you can upgrade, buy stuff. We aren't a pay to play, a play server. Most of the stuff in our server store is expensive just to the fact that you can get everything that you could buy in the store here in the server. It's all achievable. And let's go back. We also have request help. This here is our ticket system. This is how you get in touch with our staff. So if you do slash ticket and then see how it says message right here you're going to want to type why you need help what you are submitting your ticket for well, this is where you put your reason i'm not going to do it because i don't want to open up a ticket but that is how you get the ticket support request from our staff online and then here this is another grief prevention plugin that we have which uses the golden shovel to claim blocks <clears throat> And uh, you can buy more claim blocks. You can add protection. I think it's you hit a corner with the golden shovel, and then you hit another corner, and it creates a claim section of land for you. Here, if you click this, it will it will give you a full rundown of how to use it with a link and everything. This here is how to learn to claim land. If you don't already know. That's where you go. This here is what you click if you want to go to the survival hub. This is better used if you are already out and about on the survival world and you want to meet up with your friends on the hub here. I'll show you where the hub is. The hub would be located over here in the spawn. There's our vote crates. Here's our survival hub. There's our jobs board. And here's our leaderboards. This here shows you all the top leaders for each stats that are displayed in our server. Let's go back to Survival Hub. So you walk through this. This is a portal. Here, it's going to bring you to our Survival Hub. This, you, you can't escape here except for going through one of these walkways. And each of these walkways are random teleports. So once you go through there, it's going to throw you randomly out into the survival world. But back to on the menu here. This here will bring you right onto this hub. So let's pretend we're going to go. We're going to randomly teleport. Poof. There you go. We are somewhere random in our server. And if, say if we want to go meet our friend back at the hub, we want to trade some items with amongst one another, we go slash menu, and then we click survival. And it brings you right back here. You can meet up, trade your items, do what you want to do. It saves going all the way back to spawn. And like this, like I said, this is the hub where most of the new players will be coming as well. Um, each one of these random teleports are free. There's no charge. You go through them. It brings you randomly out into the world. From here, you are able to start your journey. Let's go. I, Golden. You guys won't have this command. I'm just giving myself a shovel so you can uh, see how see how the claiming works. Let's go shovel. Alright, so we pull out our shovel 
it's going to pop up a link here. You can click this link and it will give you a more depth tutorial if what we already have and explained is enough. If you go over here, you right click one side and say you want to come back over here. That claim is too small. Okay, let's try all the way over here. So in between these parameters, everything here, even upwards, is protected. Anything outside of these is not protected. Players can grief all this stuff here. They can break this. But if you place this block in here and you ask some other player to break this in here, they won't be able to. And then if you want to abandon your claim, you do this command. And that most recent claim that you made is no longer existent. Let's go back to spawn. All right, let's check out what else we have to go through here. This menu here is for voting. We do offer rewards for people who vote for our server on all the listings that we are on. Click this one, it will pop up active. This one's green because I am able to vote for it right now. But all these ones are going to be red because I have already voted for them within 24 hours. Back to the GUI. This here, if you hover over this, will show you when you can next vote that, uh, that listing. This one here will show you how long ago you have voted for the server. Back to GUI, this will show all the tops, your total votes. I'm not even going to bother with that one. And we are currently not set this up. We haven't set it up yet. This will be coming in. You will be able to buy stuff off of the vote shop. It is not here yet. Back. Next page. All right. Here's the lottery GUI. Here we have an in-game lottery system where players can gamble and buy lottery tickets amongst with all the other players who have bought them. Join a big pool and you have a chance to win the grand total of every person who bought tickets. Um, the next draw is in 24 minutes. The impot currently is $5. Nobody has bought a ticket. There's no global tickets. Last winner was Diamond Core. Let's say we want to buy lottery tickets. We go here. One, two, or three. Or ten, sorry. Let's buy two. See down here in, in game, it'll broadcast it server wide that I have bought two lottery tickets. Let's go back to the main menu show all the players this will show all the current players that are in the pool so myself have I have two tickets toggle reminder so if you don't want to get messages you can turn them off and if you don't want to get buy messages when people buy them you can turn those off too all right let's go back next page we got the quests this is neat this is really neat guys we have over 300 custom quests that we have made for our server farming we have 78 just in this category each and every one has an objective progress level and it shows you what you're going to get the reward i have started this it shows me that i have done zero out of 50 wheat crops the more wheat that i crop it'll keep going up until i complete the quest so on and so on for the rest number two number three the more and more experience each and every one of these have custom rewards set to our server style. You get the next page, even more, even more. So on top of having a farming job, you could do quests and earn even more rewards. All right, now let's go back. You got mining ones. All of these got cash rewards, mining picks. All of them have custom rewards. Nightmares. These here are riddles. These ones are fun. North, East, South, West. Which way do I go? So what you have to do is... I'll show you this one, guys. I'm going to give myself a compass. But what you should do is make a compass for this riddle. 
and then poof. I'm hoping that this is now completed. No, not yet. Okay, so the answer to this one, you have to go on to a crafting table and craft a compass. North, east, south, west. Which way do I go? So it's an item that you would use. It's a riddle. And so on and so on. Each one of these have rewards. All the way through miscellaneous building, farming animals, combat, extreme, gathering. It's unreal how much we have. Let's go back to the menu. We have the brewery. I'll show you that one in a minute. This is the store for our online web store. I'll show you that in a minute. This is our bounty hunter. We have a bounty plugin where players can set a bounty on each other for a price. Our server is economy based. So each and every time there it shows you how to list a bounty. You do slash bounty, the player name, what you're offering for that person's head. And then that, that bounty will pop up in this menu and somebody can claim that bounty and fulfill it for you and then your money goes to that person they get the reward and your vendetta is achieved then uh, if you are a bounty hunter here will show all your claimed bounties all the heads you've collected your level and your level progress it's kind of a fun fun aspect let's go to the next one auction house so here where's it how to list how to list an item you hold an item in your hand what you want to sell and then you put a h sell price and then your item will come in here and be listed server wide as an auction players pwn as his gas tiers listed for a thousand dollars and it expires in six days i can click on this i can confirm the purchase the money has come out of my balance and now I have the gas tiers. Pwn receives the thousand dollars. That's how that works, guys. <laughs> Let's go next. Um, let's do cosmetics. Here we are offering. So this, if you buy this, I have them all already. You can tag change, change your tag in game for five hundred thousand dollars. So you. Click on this when it's red and it'll say status locked. Click on it and then it will unlock and you will now have that command and permission. Same with Nick change and wearing a hat. A block is a hat. Trails. Here, normal trails. Wing trails. This is all different type of particle trails you can unlock. Alright, so I have them all unlocked. Let's go to the trails. So if I want to make a particle trail, if I want to make a block trail, if I want to make a rain trail, a wing trail, and then I can remove whatever. Let's make a wing one. Make angels or butterflies. I'm going to go with angel. Here, you choose what color you want. You can choose one and then done. You can do two colors. Let's go red. Second color. Yellow. And we even have an option to skip or make a third color green there you go guys I now have red green and yellow wings back to that we'll go here again cosmetics trails trails if we want to remove them click remove and there you go they're gone what did I do spawn all right because I was using the compass. All right, let's go back. Next, we have the store. Here is our buy craft. Here, you can buy ranks. This is for real money. And it will link you to our store. You can buy in-game money. So, we aren't pay to play. I want to say that again, we are not. Our prices are decently pricey. So that way, we are trying to steer away from purchasing to win. It is optional and we are taking donations. We consider all purchases as donations because all the money goes back to our server and our web developers, our developers, all the stuff that costs to make a server happen. There you guys, we have a new player. Welcome. 
How is it going, say S8N? Currently making a YouTube tutorial for our server. Well, that's unfortunate. He left too fast to find out that we do have Downey. In fact, we do both. So yeah, that is the store, guys. Everything here. Crate keys, perks, time is money. So time is money is this here. I've earned $200 for 10 minutes in-game online. Online for uh, standard, you guys are making $50 per minute, or per 10 minutes. It is, we pay our players for time played in our server. So on, so on. You will find all the information for store on the store. Other than that, let's walk around. So here's our crates. Let's go see. I get rid of our stuff. Crate key. Kid lemon. Let's go vote. And then let's go rare. Common, let's go uncommon, and let's go legendary so you guys can see how they all work. So each and every one of these crates, right there, left click it, it'll show you what's in it. Banknotes, so you get one of these, you hold it, and then you right click and redeem the banknote, and it goes into your balance. This here, guys, the wallet is what you have on your server economy balance i'll show you over here before we do the crates this is your balance where it says wallet and money if you do slash pal that's what this is showing you every time you die you will lose money you are taxed our server is very economy so these signs here this is our atm this is our server banking system you withdraw money you store money in here let's deposit a thousand dollars we now have 181 on our, in our wallet and the rest of the money in the bank is safe because when you die it takes a percentage of what you have. Alright, back to crates. Let's open up a vote crate. All of our crazy crates, custom crates, are done and very functional. We got a new key, another rare key. There we go, we got diamond leggings, perfect. I'm not gonna go through all these right now with you. I'll show you what's in them. You could come down here yourself, just left click on the crate and it will show you what your possible wins are so back to this we have an enchantment section with uh him anvils over there as well for you here we have the job board go back into regular view here you can join jobs you right click and it joins it choose it wisely you can browse as well click browse and see the same thing like it shows you in the main menu here, you right click this, it shows you your current stats for each job that you are in. A feller, you are only allowed to have one job up until I think it is adventurer. You have to go check out this menu here. And it will show you here all the permissions again, how many jobs you can join. One of these, I forget where it is, but you can see that night you can join up to three jobs and so on and so on. GTOP shows the servers, the leaders for all jobs, levels, points, and everything. Over here, 
we have our leaderboards. This will show you. This is for the wall, or this is for your ATM. This is for the person who has the most money in the bank. One, two, three. Over here is MCMMO. First place for most power on MCMMO, second place. This is for voting. And so on. You right click the sign, it will show you even more. In place and everything for who has the most what. Alright, let's go this way. This is our courthouse. We have, uh, we have a justice system in place laws we have server rules but we also have server justice if you get caught killing someone or stealing anything it is an infraction and you could be held accountable for it before getting sentenced to jail for your punishment you will be able to have a court date have a lawyer present for you fight it battle it and then you might get away back to it yes yeah, so if you go menu shops oh no jobs go back menu this here you click this one it brings you here here's our admin shops where you could buy buy stuff sell it everything over here we have the brewery I'll get into that with another video this is our portals same system as the survival hub guys you go through and then you're in here once you're here in the nether you walk through any of these it is another random teleport and then poof you're gone go back to spawn it does the same thing for the end I won't bother showing you this is just where the that was where the portals are all right i'm going to show you something really neat too let's go i map let's go over into the survival world with a written map we have a plugin called treasure hunt treasure chest do you have a map and you're ever bored <laughs> and you want to go treasure hunting these treasure chests have loot in them you left click while holding a map while walking see how the blocks decrease or increase 43 blocks 222 45 this way this way I'm gonna fly or no I'm gonna just show you through here RTP RTP again because it's bugging out so here, ah. all in all, I'll do a video about this. You can find treasure in our server. Go back to spawn. I think that wraps up about everything. We are going to add a kit preview here. So you can claim your kits instead of worrying about commands. We're going to put it in here. For now, you do kits. It'll list the kits. You go kit, claim. You will get the shovel for claiming, and so on. Alrighty, guys. Project Reality tutorial. Lengthy, I know, but at least you know what to do. Alright, guys. Have fun.